Take a seat. There's something about Phoenix that we'd all like to discuss. Just answer the question. Why are you so opposed to Phoenix leaving? I just... I just think it's too soon, you know, after... after losing Ella. You worried I'd just fall apart if Phoenix goes? How weak do you think I am? No one is saying that. We all know that you've made great strides in managing your anxiety, so hiding behind you is just a flimsy excuse, isn't it, Darren? Uh, why do you want to go to London anyway? I want to go because... I feel like the time has come for me to live my own life, and I'm ready. Don't you think? I just think it's a big change, you know? And I'm not sure you'll cope. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Don't worry, I won't go. <laughs> what was that? Um, he was saying that he thinks you're being selfish. He's not the only one. Well done, Darren. You just did. It upset me when you said you didn't think I'd be able to go. Uh, that was a stupid thing to say. What if you're right, you know? What, what if I can't cope? London is, is big and noisy and I need routine and structure. <laughs> Look, if you can cope with the chaos in this house, let alone this village, you can cope anywhere on the planet, all right? I mean, look how much you've changed this year. You stood up on your own and said, I am Phoenix, and... I, for one, think you're amazing. Do you really think that? Yes, I do. The truth is, the reason I don't want you to go is because I'm going to miss you. But, you know, if you've got to go off into the big, wide world and live your life, then you've got to do that, OK? But it's me that can't cope, not you. Why didn't you say all of this from the beginning? Because people don't always say what they mean. You. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you saying then? You ready to go? Make sure you say hi to Imran for me, and I got you these. Oh, he's cancelling headphones. Thank you so much. I don't know what happened to my other ones. Well, I thought they might be useful. London can be pretty noisy sometimes. Guys, I made it. Oh, that's getting your new flatmate. Hi. Hello. Um, is no one coming to see you? Oh, we already said our goodbyes. There are a lot of tears and a really strange amount of smiles. But it probably has something to do with Cindy and Dave's engagement. Oh, good luck, Dave. Cindy's engagement's always ends so well. Come on, let's get your stuff in the car. Um. I just want to say good luck and oh, I'm sorry for not always being the best boyfriend. Which bit? Um, when you hid your anxiety from me or when you slept with Alan? Well, uh, a bit of both, really. <laughs> it's fine. We all make mistakes. But thank you. You were my first proper boy. <laughs> and you'll always be special to me. Charlie, you know you can always call me, right? Whenever you just want someone to talk to. I will. I promise. Oh, and, and tell Frankie she can have my room. Come on, guys. Better make a move, otherwise we'll miss the train. Ooh, I'm gonna miss you. I'm so proud of you. I'm gonna miss you all, too. And thank you. You know, you didn't need to take me in, and you did. And now I know wherever I go, I'll always have a home. Mm -hmm. It's our pleasure. Mm. OK, bye, guys. Shotgun? No. Nope. Welcome back. <laughs> OK. I think I've got used to this by now, losing people.
<laughs> Make sure you click here to watch full Hollyoaks episodes right here on YouTube and down here to catch up with the latest drama in the village and don't forget to subscribe to stay in tune with everything Hollyoaks.